Hi. The chapter title, you know, is uh, Structural Element Structures. And uh, this uh, record is after the break, just the uh, second part of the class work. Well, uh, first, um, remind you uh, just um, the previous class work before the break. Uh, we reach to where we have what as the structure in the example subjected in the class work and then continue on the rest. Yes, our structure is a truss and well, uh, previous uh, class work, the record uh, of the previous class work, uh, finally I talked about how a gusset plate is uh, created as mated at the joint in the correct size, in the correct shape. And then well, um, uh, thereafter, uh, I added the other gusset plates, and if you have a look at making a zoom in, can see that in this example, the structural elements you see at the joint connected to each other, not directly, but uh, say uh, using gusset plates, okay, uh, those have been welded to the gusset plate, connected to gusset plate, so indirectly to each other, connected to each other. To be able to prevent uh, having undesirable bending effects, you know the good practice, at both sides, at the joint, uh, use uh, symmetric gusset plates. Okay. Now, this truss is ready, uh, well, uh, to use uh, for having uh, more complex structures. You know, in the structure of a, of the roof of a building, well, it is quite a common practice, repeatedly using uh, the truss trusses uh, in alignment, we can have a 3D roof structure. Or uh, using uh, two trusses at both of the sides, we can have uh, a bridge, truss bridge. Okay, the second part of um, this class work, uh, I'm going to first talk about the uh, one more time assembly drawing. You know, this is an assembly. Uh, for the assembly as a whole, uh, assembly drawing is valuable to inform the reader uh, on the shape of the structure, on the overall size of structure, and also to inform the reader on the uh, characteristic of the joints, welded joints, on an assembly drawing, on the assembly drawing, showing the welding symbols can inform the reader that, uh, well, uh, that is the joint over here and uh, there are welded joints, uh, the throat length uh, or leg length and the length of each joints. These are all to be provided um, on the assembly drawing. And uh, also, well, on the assembly drawing, parts list is uh, valuable again. A reader looking at the parts list can see which kind of structural elements have been used or to be used in uh, the design uh, of uh, such a um, structure. Uh, and of course, since, uh, well, after trimming the ends of structural element to be able to prevent uh, interferences, to be able to uh, mate this element at the joint with respect to the other, to have the necessary inclination angle, uh, you know, uh, well, uh, in virtual environment, using the trimming tools of inventor, we trim the ends of the uh, structural elements. Okay, so well, uh, for the structural elements, their ends uh, have been cut, uh, modified, okay? If it were not welded joint but bolt not joint, then there would be some holes to insert the bolts. Then, well, uh, both of the cases, to be able to inform the reader on the necessary holes 
their size and locations and here for welded joints to be able to inform the reader that the uh, structural member has been uh, cut or to be cut at it is terminal parts uh, with uh, how uh, what is the inclination etc what I mean for such structural elements uh, well detailed drawings are needed okay now first uh, study uh, at this stage on engineering drawings for this truss uh, I'm going to create assembly drawing but of course since uh, I already uh, and deeply uh, talk about the uh, the format of parts list how a parts list is edited how the balloons are uh, shown okay and uh, the other things welding symbols etc previous chapters uh, those parts have already been subjected and sufficiently studied on those so in my demo on the assembly drawing and then detailed drawing uh, I'm going to just uh, make a quick review and make some underlining on uh, some complementary things not talk about all the things about parts list it is not the topic of today already studied on parts list but on this example see uh, what uh, assembly drawing uh, and also for one of them uh, just create the detailed drawing and say that for the other elements then uh, it may be your home studying can similarly create the detailed drawings uh, for those for instance well for this one draw detailed drawing but this and that are in the same shape size if it is so then well say that for the others the same detailed drawing is valid for instance here there is a symmetry this member and that member are symmetric copies so well only one of them uh, use or provide detailed drawing say that the other is just the tiving copy so not all of the members but uh, uh, only the uh, one of them the others are either symmetric or identic only for uh, each group uh, only for one of them uh, it is necessary to provide detailed drawing okay first create the assembly drawing for this truss uh, it is going to be a new file I selected here uh, metric unit system and if it is drawing issue then this means uh, I selected uh, the first quadrant this is the template option you know such things quite well and then paper simulation I'm going to increase the size of paper from A3 to A2 or even a greater size paper you know how this dialog box a2 size or uh, a1 size okay of course depending on the infrastructure of your company if you have a plotter in your company then you can use greater papers in size than a3 okay and then start the view creation process since the model is still in the environment inventor automatically detected it is address otherwise I would click on this search button and then show the uh, the address it is in the project folder you see trust one trust two trust one um, uh, is the name of that file I would indicate it but here I am sure it is uh, the um, sorry well here uh, I created the copy of this okay said that trust to well since uh, the um, next part of uh, this classwork uh, will be on is on a bridge model of the bridge how the model of uh, a trust bridge is created so well I save the same trust uh, this model uh, one more time saying trust two. that's why in the memory I have two trust files trust one trust two okay these two trusses identic in shape and in size so well here say that um, I'm going to create the views for trust one 
So indicated this address. And then, yes, thereafter, sure, that the simulated one is one of the side views of that truss. Uh, clicked on cutter symbol, enable yourself to see the uh, the model of the object as you uh, decided or fixed in it is home positioning and then much more easily can teach to the software you're going to create which site view first. I'm going to create the view of this structure. Okay, it is site is parallel to this surface of the cube. So indicate this parallel surface of the cube and uh, manage to have the model as oriented as parallel to the picture plane, uh, parallel to the surface of the drawing paper and say that it is the uh, front view of the structure. Well, uh, inventor offering 1 to 20 as the drawing scale. Uh, I think, well, uh, since there will be some other things, uh, dimensions and welding symbols, uh, this scale factor may be suitable one. If I say 1 to 10, it is going to be too big. Or just try, okay. I may fit it. Well, if I add the profile view just hoping that can show the dimensions on the paper uh, so this is the front view this is the uh, place for the left side view okay since it is an assembly drawing you know uh, the uh, agreement we show on the assembly drawing not the images of hidden features only the visible ones so it is a convention uh, because SM drawing is not to inform the reader on the details. We use SM drawing just to inform the reader, thanks to the existence of parts list, uh, the uh, on the name of components. Okay, if it is a standard component, it is standard designation note along the nose column. Okay, and then well uh, to uh, represent. Assembly is which kind of assembly, whether it is automobile, aircraft, or truss bridge, etc. Well, this is our purpose and to show the welding symbols if exist, welded joints are exist, so on and so forth. Well, uh, so no need to show the images of, uh, have the images of um, the hidden features. So, click on intermediate style button and prevent software from projecting the images of hidden entities. Um, and then say, okay, yes, front view, left side view, uh, oh, the truss, and then yes, ballooning stage, annotation, auto balloon, start the process, and then, um, Okay, I'm going to show the balloons on the front view, obvious, but because left side view is not so understandable. Indicate this view when the cursor is sufficiently close uh, it to it. And then, uh, well, um, using windowing method, uh, select the truss completely. And then click on select placement button. Uh, well, all around, not only in form of a row or column, but all around. If there are lots of balloons to show, then, uh, well, uh, one column, one row uh, will not be sufficient to have all. So, select all around option. Have some of the balloons uh, along the columns, the others along the rows. It is recommended. And then make a click. And then say, OK. Yes. And then at this point, yeah, yes, uh, it is recommended. Have a look at. Well, inventor uh, automatically uh, locates the balloons. But some cases, there may be uh, such mistakes. For instance, 
um, see the leader line. This balloon is to indicate this uh, element, but this balloon, since uh, is located has been located over here, uses a very long leader line. It is a poor practice. Well, showing the balloon, not here but there. Well, if you bring the cursor, you know, to the center of balloon and drag the mouse, you can change its place. Okay, showing the balloon over there is more proper use. Instead of um, uh, crossing one, two, three members, if I show it over here, then only two members uh, will be uh, intersect by the leader line and leader line will be shorter. And these are very close to each other. Okay, make the distance between them greater if it is uh, not prevented by a dimension uh, shown over there. Okay, you can make such treatments. Yes. And you know the good practice, the balloons are to be in alignment to each other. If you move the cursor to the vicinity of the uh, other balloon and then, well, move the cursor away, dragging the mouse, can see such a track line between the centers of the balloons. If you follow this track line, dotted line, then can sure that these are in alignment. It is a format recommend. Balloons are to be in alignment. Okay, make such editings. And this is better. Show this balloon over here. Uh, instead of using a long leader line, then it is now suitable, shorter. Okay. Some balloons indicating the uh, the elements, the others, the gusset plates. Okay. And then. Okay, parts list. Clicked on parts list creation button. Show the same view and then say OK. And then the parts list. Anchor the parts list here. You know, as the continuation of uh, title block. And then if you had a clash between the projection and the parts list, then uh, it is allowed. Well, to be able to prevent clash, uh, you can unbalance the view over the working space. It is allowed. But although you shifted the views, okay, and almost reached to the limit of the paper, but still you have a clash, then this means you either decrease the scale factor or increase the size of paper. And then, have a look at the parts list. Of course, it is uh, uh, in the format. Uh, there are some violations. Although we have the titles of the columns and the title of the parts list, not at the top, but the bottom. Yes, inventor using it is default configuration, creates the parts list with such a mistake. And uh, we uh, list the components of an assembly, writing the ID numbers from bottom to top. But you see here, the direction is wrong, top to bottom. Talking about the ABC of assemblies, uh, I already talked about such things. So at the beginning saying that I don't want to uh, talk about parts in detail. So uh, I'm going to quickly pass. For instance, how can add drawing uh, number column? Already answered the question, okay, in the corresponding video record. But it is quite easy for me to reverse the order. Okay, indicate the title block at any point. Right click the mouse and select style option, edit parts list style option. And the style dialog box, uh, well, change the direction of the list, not the uh, Ascending order, but descending order, vice versa. Clicked on this button. And then to be able to have the titles of the columns and the title of the uh, table, not at the top, but at the bottom, select this heading option. And then clicked on 
say close. Uh, to be able to add the drawing number column, you know, uh, click on column chooser and then deal with the rest. Well, if you couldn't understand what I mean, find that video record. It is about assemblies, assembly drawings, and then can see the details. Okay. And then here, uh, it is complementary new to underline. You see, for instance, item 1, component 1 is... Uh, the sketch of the truss. Okay. But item 2 item 2 is uh, just uh, one of the structural elements. Where it is? Find the balloon. It is this one. Okay. Uh, along the quantity column for the structures, it is convention. Instead of writing, well, this item has been used only one time or two times, write the total length, length of the member, length of the element is written. Not the number, uh, quantity, but the length of a uh, structural element. For instance, uh, well, uh, this structural element, uh, you see, item number is 10. But for this one, uh, there is no new item number. This means the length and also type, size of this element and this element are the same. So inventor detects that, if inventor detects that uh, two or more elements identing in shape and size, then identify only one of them. And here, along the quantity column, for instance, item 10, uh, yes, the total length of the members are written. Okay? This number here, 1880, is the total length of uh, this member and that member. It is practical because in the market, instead of purchasing this and that separately, we purchase, uh, well, uh, structural element in the total length and in the company it is cut. And from one member we obtain, we have uh, two members by cutting. So since the total length is valuable to use for purchasing such structural elements, Inventor knows this practical application and instead of quantity, you see for uh, item 10, in the same size, in the same shape, we have two elements. Instead of writing two here into this box, quantity box, inventor, you see, show the total length of the structural element. Item, item, the total length of both of them, for both of them. It is interesting, it is under agreement, it is a complementary knowledge. And the other thing, here, well, it is, yes, uh, the components can be identified saying uh, item 1, item 2, item 3. But this is also a quite common application. Especially in uh, making the analysis for the structures uh, to be able to easily communicate or uh, explain. We are talking about which element, we mean which element. Yes, looking at the, uh, the technical drawing, we can say that item 8, item 9. But it is also quite common practice. Uh, the joints are identified with the letters of the alphabet. Okay, see this application convention. Start a text typing uh, stage and then bring the cursor to the vicinity of this joint and then with a click indicate. And then select a suitable font type. And right, this is say that joint number, joint identification letter is C, as I remember. Okay. Yes, joint C. Or little bit greater in size, make it more distinguishable. Yes. Take it into the editing box. And then select it and say that 7 millimeters is the font height. Okay, this is 
what joint C and this is similarly continue indicate uh, in the vicinity of this joint make a click then in the text dialog box yes font type 7 say that this is joint A this is joint B of course if you configure the text facility you know then uh, it is automatically selected as the same but here uh, skip the text configuration state so for each writing the height value a b this is joint b a b c and then after such an and then uh, so on so forth a b c d e f g h okay and then well talking we say joint c joint a joint b and talking about this element we say element cb element ab it is also quite common so well at present the id number uh, so like the name of the object is 8 okay and then see the row it is just for that item element 8 it is written item number is written over here and the total length for the structural member is uh, equal to that much and this is uh, the valuable uh, standard code standard designation node reader looking at this standard um, technical node can see that structural element is uh, in the format of which association what is the code of the document to find uh, the document in the library to see the other details for instance the shape of the profile if necessary and ch is the uh, the standard identification to say that it is c shape uh, u shape uh, structural member okay height is the uh, 100 is the height of the uh, cross section okay 10 is the average thickness value and here you see the total length is written over here the writing total length after this specification not is optional because we have the same value along the item column and here it is name is written hot rolled steel sloping flat channel section that is the name of the object say element okay of course, there are uh, some other uh, mistakes uh, in the structure of uh, parse list. You know, it is not a number, but technical note. So this title had to be notes. I already educated you how the uh, title of the columns are changed. Okay. Uh, how, uh, if there is a typo, how it is corrected, etc finding the video record it is about all of such things can uh, see one more time but here uh, I want to say such a thing as complimentary this is at present item 8 but here I'm going to change the name of the item say element using the common convention instead of saying member 8 I'm going to say member CB how press escape button finish any execution stop bring the cursor onto the balloon left click right click and then select from the menu it will appear edit balloon and into the balloon here as the item text the name of identification for the indicated element instead of saying item 8 say it is the member extending from joint C to B say that CB C dash B and then say OK now here it is written CB it is to say that uh, structural element CB the element extending from joint C to joint B and after making this editing you see here along the item column we have not 8 but CB it is recommended for the others can do similar things Ah, one more thing well on uh, the 
views of developments uh, well in today's format we do not show the views of the welded joints I forgot to prevent software from showing the images of the joints this rectangle corresponds to the image of which one the welded joint which is which is over here okay we do not show the images of the joints you know this studying talking about weldments I already inform you on that uh, format requirement so well prevent software from showing the images of the welded joints you know how uh, during the view creation stage or after if you forgot to make the necessary changing then after having the views when you perceive that you have forgotten indicate the view one more time right click and select edit view option and in the view dialog box you know to be able to uh, prevent inventor from creating the images of the joints select model state, state tab and select assembly radio button and then say ok then the joints will be uh, the visibilities of the welded joints will be taken from the screen and then well uh, for the welded joints you know the rest welding symbol I'm going to show only one of them for instance here indicate this H and then left click right click continue and then it is a fillet joint I know throat length is uh, I remember um, six okay it is truly extending and this truss is to be constructed uh, the members are to be connected to each other not in the manufacturing company but at this side okay so say that uh, field welding but if the truss going to be manufactured erected uh, say in the shop floor not at the field then do not have such a symbol all around no it is wrong because it is along the edge not along all the uh, there is no rounding here so well along the edge okay since the joint is along the common edge so well not necessary to write the length of the welded joint and then say okay huh. if the characteristic of this joint at this side is the same then you know this side opposite side other side this is the joint at this side and at the other side we have one more joint so well here uh, if it is the case say that this side and the opposite side other side have the same joint uh, then um, yes make a click in the dialog box and select the uh, type of the joint uh, joint type symbol and the size is the same so a throat length this means throat length and throat length is six millimeters and then say okay yes this indication is to inform the reader uh, on the characteristic of the welded joint here and also the joint at the other side and for this age for this age for this joint well for um, the other joints similarly show the welding symbols and of course show the overall dimensions uh, have the quadrant symbol write the company name etc and have one more column here in the structure of parts list to show the drawing number of non for non-standard components non-standard components uh, well the gusset plates and also well uh, the uh, structural elements well for element CB it is necessary to use provide a detailed drawing so well for that detailed drawing there will be sheet number drawing number and after having a new column to show to write the drawing numbers then write the drawing number of that detailed drawing sheet along the column uh, say uh, at the place which corresponds to this row okay well um, configure the dimensioning facility uh, 
manage styles editor yes in the dialog box select uh, dimension option clicking on the listing arrow this cross from the list select uh, this option and then precision I am sure is zero okay for the angles precision zero click on say okay display option you know at the beginning of extensions there should be two three millimeters empty space okay arrow size should be in the order of three text uh, aerial etc okay deal with the text configuration i'm going to skip that stage back and then leader nodes should have horizontal tail etc okay after configuring the dimensioning facility then show the dimensions which dimensions overall dimensions do not show the distance from here to there overall dimensions okay uh, from limit to the other limit show this dimension okay height of the overall height of the truss from the tip of gusset plate to the tip of the other gusset plate it is necessary dimension the total height and say the depth of this truss from this limit to that limit is equal to that much these dimensions actually uh, sufficient oh, no, no, sorry inclination angle well the inclination angle for this member yes is a valuable dimension show it during the construction stage erecting stage technicians will uh, use this inclination angle the angle for this one yes show the angle this is obvious that vertically oriented and the others are symmetric this means angle angle are the same okay um, what else uh, the length of the members well written uh, at the title um, say at the parts list and also for uh, uh, the structural members there will be detailed drawings for instance for this member I'm going to create the detailed drawing but skip the uh, title block filling stage etc okay huh? here having this clash is a poor practice so can do what yes uh, increase the size of paper I think is more proper sheet icon edit sheet okay not a1 but a0 size yes and then well move the title block say parsley suri hold it and then move to it is location it is just to be above the title block okay and then now can balance the views because we have more space okay um, detailed drawing for one of them I'm going to make a demo how the detailed drawing is created one more time and of course for gusset plays detailed drawings are needed well because technicians should be informed uh, technicians uh, operators are to be informed on its shape and size for instance length of this edge inclination angle of this for the gusset plates uh, of course if the gusset plays is just symmetry of the symmetric copy of the other then only one of them uh, create the detail drawing okay for this gusset plate for this gusset for this gusset for this okay and for that gusset plate the detail drawings are needed and for the 
structural members this but not the symmetric one because these are identic in shape in size only not both of them for one of them uh, provide create and provide the detail drawing for item uh, bc cb see how the technical drawing can be uh, created engineering drawing before answering this question, although there are some other things, for instance, well, in the uh, uh, parts list, a new column is a mast, okay, drawing number column. I skip uh, that new column uh, adding stage. I already because demonstrated how, then assume that I added the drawing number column. But here, uh, there is a, a tricky detail to pay attention. It is about the detailed drawings of uh, the elements of the structure. Okay, I'm going to make a demo for only for one of them. Let's say uh, element CB. But before doing uh, how, uh, what is the detail and uh, how the detailed drawing is created, um, do not say, yeah, Jan, we know quite well how the view is created, but there is a tricky detail. I want to talk about it. Before uh, such a tricky uh, thing to deal, save the file without forgetting save as. Okay, it is the technical drawing for the first truss. Okay, save it. Ah, well, the joint ID letters. Yes, since I changed the size of paper, okay, hold it and bring it to the correct place. Be careful, this ID letter is at the wrong place. Okay, I changed the size of paper, so it may be left at its original place. And uh, A, B, where is letter B? Uh, B has been left over there. Hold it and drag to the correct place. It is to be in the vicinity of the corresponding joint. Okay. And then for this element, CB, uh, create the detailed drawing. How? Well, this is element CB, member CB. How you can create it as detailed drawing? Okay, uh, indicate the member in assembly environment, but it is as if it were whole. The, when you indicate it, the others also be indicated. Left click and then say open. But here you see this is the intermediate stage. If the element is the one, or in general speaking, object is the one. It has it is model has been created using design tool. Then to be able to isolate the element of the assembly from the others, well, indicate the element, right click and say open. Or for taking it to edit mode, it is the same. Say edit or say open, but not one time. It is a trick. One more time. Now at this intermediate stage, one more time indicate this member, right click. If you're going to take it into edit mode in assembly environment, then select edit, edit option. But if you're going to open the solid model file of it, yes, open the solid model file to be able to create the, uh, uh, the uh, necessary drawing for that uh, item, for that element. So select one more time open option with a click yes it is the trick thereafter you find the element as isolated from the others now that is the model of uh, that element you see well using the trimming tool we had the ending parts in the necessary geometry you see we have inclined surfaces need to inform the technicians operators on the inclination angle for of the end and also the total length of the member so for this element yes we need to create the engineering drawings 
Okay, then after isolating it, uh, after having it in part environment, two times indicating that member and saying in sequence open, open. Then uh, after finding it in part environment, it is model, then uh, start the view creation process. The rest is uh, as usual, as you know quite well, the same. Okay, say that gonna have the image over A3 size paper, start the view creation process. Okay, and then, well, this side you're going to create uh, the view uh, of the object in which orientation. I'm going to uh, have the front view, just observing the body in this direction. Okay, scale factor is to be for this member 1 to 1. Let's say it is the suitable scale factor, but see the problem and you know quite well how this uh, trouble is shot. Okay, omit the projection of the intermediate button. Well, as the first class work under this title structures, structural elements, uh, well, as the first cat application class work on the cat application part, I already uh, reminded you. Um, uh, on the function of this facility. I'm going to one more time use it. Uh, well, not this orientation, but to be able to show the inclination angles, I think this lateral side view is more proper. Otherwise, it is going to be create not front only, but also top side view. Here, I'm going to create front view and the profile views only. This is to have the front view and then move the cursor here, have the uh, left side view. And then yes, first style button must be on. All the things are uh, okay, scale factor is proper. Um, even can uh, increase the scale factor uh, two times, say that two to one is more suitable. Okay. Yes, because I'm going to omit the uh, the intermediate part, the projection of the intermediate part following stage. Okay. And then say okay. Then well, hold this view and drag it to be able to see if the left side view clash with the other. Okay, and then the rest. Uh, Say that uh, omit the projection of the intermediate part because from after this cross section till to that cross section the shape geometry is the same. So no need to show that very long uh, part, intermediate part. Imagine the object as if broken, as if cut here and there. Okay, select more zigzag option. Okay, and then, well, indicate such a cross-section, indicate such a cross-section, and then say that, omit the intermediate part. Okay, and then, yes, hold this image and bring it to the, uh, well, still a problem. Although I omitted the projection of the intermediate part, very long intermediate part, you see A3 size paper is not sufficiently large. So can do what? Either decrease the scale to 1 to 1 or increase the size of the paper. Okay. And I have one more view here, you see. Uh, then which one is more proper, scale or paper? If you have a plotter, can try to increase the size of paper, but if you have a printer, then decrease the scale factor. I'm going to try decreasing the scale factor, edit view, not 2 to 1, but say 1 to 1 and try whether it is possible to fit. Maybe. Yes, okay. Manage. And then, which dimensions are to be shown? Before showing the dimensions, well, here, um, I'm going to increase the space between the brake lines. Well, see, 
this view right click and say edit view model size display well uh, making a double click on the brake lens can have the um, the same dialog box the gap between the brake lines three millimeters not suitable for me say that um, 10 millimeters may be more distinguishable to highlight that we omitted the intermediate portion the thickness of brake lines you know is wrong how it is corrected annotation tab um, edit layers button okay and in the configuration of the layer in which inventor creates the brake lines uh, yes this is the corresponding layer row it corresponds to the layer in which uh, inventor creates the brake lines uh, the thickness is wrong clicked on this wrong value and corrected 0 0.25 is the correct value okay and then well dimensioning configuration and uh, well the uh, standard designation node in the vicinity of the profile view the profile is a standard profile you know write the uh, the same code well can find the code the technical node in the parts list okay for item that is the code okay well from after double clicking here you can copy this standard designation node okay uh, control C is to say copy and then say close and then in the vicinity of this view okay well start the text writing process clicking on this uh, process button and then make a click in the vicinity of this image and then in this dialog box uh, control V copy paste okay uh, these are tricky details actually uh, if you need to have the text in the order of five font type five then select and then change the font type and then yes this technical note is sufficient do not try to show any dimension on this profile view because it is a standard profile in shape and also in size reader a technician technical person looking at this can see that height is 100 well the length of this uh, feature is 100 thickness average thickness 10 and this is the code of the document it is about this kind of structural memory but the inclination angle of this inclined edges and the total length of the member are to be shown on this technical drawing okay uh, quickly configure dimensioning facility dimension d4 precision I am sure is zero for the angles as well uh, these are deeply explained studied things in Mac 113 okay how the precision is determined whether at the decimal part uh, there will be one figure two figures or no figure show the nominal value as integer you know the measure how it is decided how it is fixed see the deviation value if deviation starts from tens then show the nominal values integer and in this dialog box uh, okay uh, select precision zero for having the nominal value as integer you know such things okay arrow size three millimeters okay save and leader note leader uh, leader lines horizontal tail save close and then show the dimensions annotation dimension which dimension inclination angle of the edge of course yes okay is it enough no ah this is another uh, this the other end the inclination inclined surface has another inclination angle so so 
show it is inclination as well okay total length of the member from here to there must be shown okay 1638 then check whether this number is the same uh, shown on the uh, assembly drawing at the parts list 1638 16 um, 1605 uh, well I think uh, by mistake 1638 is the total length for that uh, member uh, well although I said that it is symmetric this and that sorry this and that are symmetric but I see that these are not identical in size because well here at this joint I trim the members differently so the length of this is slightly smaller than the length of the other so well uh, here this miss indicated this one but the member which I show it saying item CB is the other one but sure well if I selected the correct element uh, not this but that one then the uh, the total length on this SM say detailed drawing will be the same I think you understood what I mean inclination angle and uh, well this dimension yes show this dimension as well necessary no, not necessary. This is unnecessary because if we cut the edge, cut the end of the structural element to have such an inclination angle, then this dimension will automatically find it is value. So no need to show it. Okay. Showing tight is optional because this dimension is standard in size but well for the convenience of the reader can show the dimensions also well obeying to the common convention you know show the width show the height okay although this is a standard dimension well good practice to showing the depth as well yes hundred you see if the person reader is a technical person then can directly see that uh, this size is 100 this is a standard one but never show the filleting radius rounding radius okay no need to show them overall dimensions okay but of course the inclination angles of the inclined surfaces are to be shown it is a must and total length show it on the technical drawing and then uh, well uh, generate the drawing number uh, sheet number for this one and the name of the object okay as the name of the object well here for instance right what is the name of the object member or element structural element element c b name of the element structural element balance it okay company name etc quadrant symbol must be shown scale factor must be shown and sheet number drawing number for this one generate the drawing number and write the same drawing number along the drawing number column in the structure of the parts let's have such a column and write the same number for item cb the same sheet number drawing number along that column as well yes as I said the rest uh, of uh, this class work to deal to complete this assembly drawing to complete uh, the detailed drawing adding the quadrant symbol company name etc uh, just depends on your interest for this class work say that complete these drawings uh, at home it may be your the rest uh, may be your home studying but in real life never we say that okay this is okay no uh, need to fill 
all of the boxes in real life need to show the quadrant symbol and show uh, not only some of them, all of the necessary dimensions. But here, since there is no new thing to educate you, I'm going to skip the rest, say that at one, complete the rest, deal with the rest. Okay, I'm going to save this drawing as well. Save. It is detailed drawing uh, for this item. Do not change it as name. Okay. Uh, if at the saving stage, for instance, write surname, etc., then at the parts list, instead of finding this valuable specification note, can find such a strange name. If it is the view of detailed drawing of a, a standard object, then, well, uh, in which case, of course, if there were no inclined ends, inclined surfaces, then there will be no need to uh, have or draw this detail uh, uh, drawing. No need. But here to be able to show the inclination angle, uh, yes, it is necessary we created this detail drawing. But at the saving stage, do not change the name of the file. It is written automatically by the software because this name is actually the standard designation node. You see, this is the same that of this one. If we change this text here, writing surname, section number, etc., then at the parts list cannot find this standard designation note as written automatically by the software. Don't forget. Okay? Uh, well, it is the detail drawing for that component. The profile is standard, so to have this set designation note as the same at the parts list, without changing the name of the file, simply click on Save button. That is it. And if you want for being safe to site, at this intermediate stage, apply pack and go process. Okay, and collect the data files. But I'm going to apply pack and go process after uh, complete the classwork. But here I'm going to have a break. Uh, after the break, well, uh, using this uh, time from the previous break to the uh, following break just about to be started. Uh, I mainly talk about uh, the ballooning stage, assembly drawing, parts list and well how the detailed drawing of uh, a certain member uh, can be created. You know the trick, open open two times and then well one more time highlight that not the size of the others but this standard designation note is enough to write. Uh, in the vicinity of the profile view. Okay, these are complementary, valuable things to underline. Yes, uh, those were in the subject of this classwork, and the next classwork will be on, uh, uh, say, uh, modeling stage for having the model of truss bridge, not only one truss but two trusses and the floor beams and the deck over the surface. Yes, next video record will be on uh, modeling stage of a truss bridge. Okay, now ending the record at this stage and then after the break continue on the rest. Have a break.